Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I use the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette to bring you this makeup look. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy this video and would like to see more. I'm starting out with the Maybelline Superstay Primer and applying that pretty much all over my face, blending it in and then just wait a couple of minutes for it to really soak in. For the very first time on camera, I am trying out this Iconic London Liquid Glow and I'm just applying that on areas I would generally apply a highlighter. I didn't quite realize how far this product spreads, so I did add a lot more than needed. A little bit definitely goes a long way. I'm still trying to figure out what this fascination is with the Liquid Glow. It has been making its way around social media. As soon as I popped on foundation, I couldn't even see the glow, so to me it was a little bit pointless. I don't know if I'm applying it wrong or what the deal is, but yeah, it hasn't quite convinced me yet. For foundation, I am using the Maybelline Fit Me. This has been one of my go-tos lately. Years ago when the Fit Me came out, I absolutely hated the formula. It was very watery and there was no coverage to it whatsoever. But since then, it is definitely new and improved, and now I reach for it so often. I'm just going to very generously apply that all over my face, you guys know I love that full coverage, and blend it out using a semi-damp beauty blender. Continuing the Maybelline trend, I'm applying the A True Wine Concealer on my forehead, around my eyes and chin, and anywhere else that I see fit, and then just using a beauty blender to blend it all out. I'm going to fill in my brows using the Mellow Cosmetics pomade. I often get questions asking what my thoughts are on this pomade compared to the Anastasia pomade, and they both produce the same results, but the application process is very different. If you are a beginner, I would probably reach for the Anastasia pomade, as it is a wee bit more steady and easier to work with. I'm going to set my face in place using the Maybelline Matte Maker. This video sounds like it's a campaign for Maybelline with all the products that I'm using. This is a colored powder, so it is going to add a little bit more coverage to my skin. I'm ensuring that I really set my eye area in place because we went in with a heavy coverage foundation and concealer on top of that. We just want to make sure that it doesn't crease throughout the day. And then I'm picking up more powder and applying it on my eyelids, really trying to buff it in and this will act as my eye primer. And then I'm going to switch up my brushes to a big fluffy face brush and apply powder everywhere else. If you guys have been contemplating getting your hands on these Huda Beauty eyeshadows, I would highly recommend it. I'm using the Warm Brown Obsessions palette and starting off with the lightest shade, I'm going to take that on a fluffy blending brush and work that into my crease to act as my transition color. I'm just going to blend that back and forth, picking up more of that transition shade if needed to ensure that we have a very good base to work with. Using the same brush, I'm combining these two shades and I'm going to concentrate this on my outer corner and slowly start to work my way up into my crease for added definition. It is important to work in steps when applying eyeshadow to slowly build up your desired look and don't be afraid to pick up more color when needed. It's always easier to start off slow than to go in with a whole heap of color and it's so difficult to blend. And I always have a clean blending brush on hand to blend out any edges and sharp lines. You just want to ensure that you are happy with the outer corner shadows before placing your lid shade down, otherwise it could get a little bit tricky to blend. Using a semi-stiff flat top brush, I'm picking up this pure gold shade and placing it directly on my lid, carving out the first half of my crease as I apply it. This shade does produce a wee bit of fallout, so ideally you want to make sure that you have powdered your under eye area in place, otherwise alternatively you can start with your eye makeup first before doing the rest of your base. I am not being shy at all with this color. I am going in with layer upon layer to really make it pop. And lastly, I'm taking a smaller fluffy eye blending brush and blending the matte shade into the shimmery shade. I'm just going to quickly wipe away that fallout that occurred and begin to apply the Laura Geller highlighter on my upper lip, nose, and cheekbones. And then I'm taking it on a very small eye brush and placing some in my inner corner as well. I'm trying out the new bronzer by Anastasia. Starting off using a tapered face brush, I'm applying it on my cheekbones. Because of the pointed edge that this brush offers, it does give a contoured effect to the cheeks without actually having to do a lot of the work. And then of course, don't forget to blend that bronzer down your neck as well to ensure that we don't have a sudden stop in foundation. I'm then going to change up my brushes to a fluffy face brush and apply it on my forehead, working my way into my hairline. 
I've been quite into blush lately, which is so weird and bizarre because I used to stay clear of it altogether, but lately it has definitely been my thing. So I'm just going to be taking the Sigma blush and apply it on the apples of my cheeks. To finish off my eyes, I'm combining these two shades and blending it onto my lower lash line. Then I'm taking the Sigma Wicker Gel Liner and I'm going to run this on my lower waterline. I'm not being too precise because any liner that ends up on my lower lash line, I'm just going to blend out to really give a smoky vibe to my eyes. I decided against the falsies life today. I have no idea what is happening to me. Who is this new Nikita? So I'm just going to give my lashes a few generous coats of the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I added on a nude lipstick and that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.